Okay, uh, here's another project. There's a lot of projects actually. The old man was real busy this week. He put a new roof on the man cave. That ought to get me by a few more years until I have to tear it down and put a new man cave up. But uh, there she is. Also, I'm working on the garden. Just got done putting in the onion sets. Got the potatoes planted and lettuce and radishes. And I'm still not trusting it for uh, cold weather yet. Maybe a couple more weeks. Anyway, I got a new project that I want to work on today. Oh, and yeah, here's a teaser for uh, Pestle Man. I uh, napped a piece of his uh, rainbow, and here's what I got out of it. I don't know how well this is going to show, because sometimes the rainbow shows and sometimes it doesn't, but this is a, about the thinnest thing I've ever napped right here. It's a really cool point. But, that'll be coming your way once I get a few more things made. Every now and then, if you get it in the right light, you can see the purple and iridescence. It's pretty cool. So, today's uh, project is going to be this thing right here. I just got this at the nap and we had at Letchworth. And as you see, this is one psychedelic piece of glass. Uh, my good friend John Capellini made this. He makes lots of them. He's got tons of it. If you guys need some, he'll sell them to you. They're not cheap. But I'll tell you what, if you can get a point out of this, it's going to be really awesome. So this is going to be my project. Let's see what happens. When I get back, I'll show you the next stage. Well, that didn't take long. Um, I've probably been napping this only 10 minutes and doing a pretty good job getting around it. And gave it one nice shot right in here. And that resulted in two really nice pieces. Wasn't quite what I had in mind, but I'm learning. Uh, I'm kind of experimenting with this for John. You gotta be really um, delicate with it. Make sure that you do heavily abrade it. And um, sometimes some of the um, things that are in here have a little irregular cooling. I don't know what it is. It can be worked with. So if you're watching this, John, this was my test run. And well, I guess I failed the test along with the piece of glass, but I'm not blaming the glass. It could be just uh, me being in a hurry and trying to get this thing down thin. So the project has failed, but maybe I'll make two now. Well, I'll work one more of these pieces here just to see uh, how far down I can take it when I get back. Well, here's the best I could do with one half of it. I did get it down kind of thin and I got a biface and it's, it's really cool. I mean, there's stuff going on like crazy in there. But, I don't know. This glass really challenged me. And I think if you're patient and take your time, you can probably make some pretty nice things out of this. I'm gonna finish this up with some notching. Just make it a corner notch point or something. See how, how it holds up to that. But this is what I got so far. Uh, a lot smaller than what I started with, but any of you guys out there that nap know that that's pretty typical to start with a huge piece and end up with a Cahokia pointer or something like that. So we'll finish this up here shortly. Well, here's the, uh, the finished piece. It's kind of cool, but I'd like to head a lot bigger. But this is some crazy glass John's got. Definitely, uh, you got to take your time with it and be very patient. And you should be able to get something out of it. This is relatively thin. You can only go so much with glass. Um, 
But there's the finished piece. And uh, maybe when I get around to it, I'll work that other half. See what I can get out of that. Kind of a Lost Lake style here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let's see what you do. And I'll be back with more.